Amar Ambush was released for the Atari 2600 by M Network in 1982. It's an overhead tank battle game, borrowing heavily from the formula of combat. Now just a disclaimer here, I normally don't like to make comparisons to other games that aren't even in the same series, but this game is so clearly lifted from combat that I pretty much have to. In fact, when I was a kid I really thought this was the sequel. Anyway, like I said, the game is basically combat 2, only this time it's not just a battle where whoever gets the most hits within the time limit wins. Instead, you each start with a total of 25 tanks and battle it out until one of you runs out. By the way, it's a two player only game. There's no option to face off against the computer. It's also no longer just a one on one affair. You get two tanks each per round, and you can toggle which one you're controlling by pulling back on the joystick. But keep in mind, your inactive tank is vulnerable in this situation, and it takes three hits to destroy a tank. You still can't move backwards, though. You have to turn your tank around and face another direction before moving. There aren't any other variations, but the difficulty switch will toggle whether or not bullets can ricochet. Just keep in mind that your ricochet bullets can actually bounce back and hurt you. The different types of terrain affect your speed. You travel fast on roads, mediocre through trees, and slow as shit in the water. And the buildings are just plain impassable. One cool thing is that the map will randomly generate with each round, and since it only takes two dead tanks to switch rounds and get a scoreboard update, you'll be seeing a lot of different combinations throughout a full match. There are also details that give the game a little bit more spice, like the recoil. Your tank will nudge slightly after firing, as opposed to just staying pointed in the same exact spot, which forces you to make adjustments, and prevents you from being able to spam the shit out of your opponent with an onslaught of bullshit shots, which would essentially render the whole three shot death per tank thing meaningless. When a tank is destroyed, instead of spinning out a few times, it will explode, which may not be the most impressive explosion in video game history, but it's pretty cool, and an improvement over combat spin-out sequence, which I won't trash simply because it actually made more sense in that game, since it was the same tanks doing battle instead of an elimination gauntlet. One thing combat does have over armor ambush though is the other vehicles. In combat you had planes and bombers too, but ambush only features the tanks. Also the lack of a single player option renders the game useless when you're by yourself. Combat will always be the classic, and rightfully so, as Armor Ambush owes a debt of gratitude to combat for paving the way to its existence, but Ambush is still a solid game that was probably overlooked a bit too much. Give it a try. Right. 